Hello YouTube, I'm back just making a video to show my progress. I've been uh, testing <laughs> hardcore uh, since I got the wire and um, wound these two coils. These are smaller. That's uh, the new wire. Um, that uh, 500 grams a piece. 500 grams, 500 grams, so a kilogram total. Uh, what I had been working with were um, about two kilograms total. So, what I'm going to do is um, combine these two uh, onto one coil. I'm going to make a, a two kilogram set. And I'm going to use these spools right here where I have the 18 gauge. I'm going to wind those onto something else. But just wanted to show what's going on here, keep you guys updated. So, this is about half the copper I had been using. Um, it's given me about 20 volts at the um, same resistance to the motor. And I'll flip, oh, here we go, let's check the RPMs. And I have the laminated cores on there, which is just where I happen to be in testing this thing. Ooh, come on, 420. Let's call it 420. <laughs> um, so again, these laminated cores really don't uh, slow the wheel as much as a um, solid iron due to attraction. But anyways, I'm going to flip her on so we have 20 volts and I'm going to give this just a little spin. You're going to see that it doesn't go as fast as before. Um, I've had things apart and going at it pretty good really, but I wanted to make a video. You'll notice it doesn't go as quickly. I put the other set of magnets on there, um, so it's heavier. And it's pulling a good portion of that through there, voltage. And I'm getting 0 0.09. Um, if I just have the meter on the output, it'll show 0.1. Oh, there we go, peaked. But this gives, right now, with half the wire I've been using. This will get up to uh, 170, I want to say. But it's moving. And again, I'm still at it, working at it. And uh, it's looking really good, guys. Now to go with that, um, there is another motor here that I have that I've used before with this wheel. And I, I need to compare that still need to do that. I slid uh, two pieces of that uh, aluminum on there on the uh, other core. Actually I did have these coils wound on these and testing with that thinner core that I was showing in my other video and slid that aluminum on there with no good results. Right. And I'm going to be testing with caps and things too. Uh, the cap actually helps this little motor run better. But, just wanted to keep you updated. Oh, another improvement I'm going to be trying, hopefully improvement, is I want to try getting some iron off the core and next to the coil, like Ed prescribed. Um, so, this isn't what I'm going to be using, but this is the idea I'm going to be trying. I have a couple more pieces of this rod. And I'm um, going to try that try and get some of that magnetism flowing next to these coils like Ed prescribed and see what happens there. But lots to do, lots more I'm going to be testing, but um, just wanted to give you a peek at what's going on. And again, this isn't going as fast. Um, I'm using half the wire I had been. Um, I'm getting better voltage like I wanted and uh, it's going good. I'm going to wind these, this wire together on this spool and then wind another kilogram onto that spool and uh, go from there. But it's going really good guys and I just wanted to keep you updated. Probably another vid in a day or something like that. But um, there you go. I'll talk to you later. Haha! -ha, oops! <laughs> uh, we're still where we were. Right. There we go. And the wheel's still coming like that. Uh, but I forgot to show you guys the RPMs.
it slowed slightly. And that's like I showed in my other video about the laminated core. Now if I short that out, it's actually going to not slow down and uh, speed up a little bit. But anyways, wanted to show you those RPMs. Thought it was important. Alright, talk to you later.